Hey everyone, James here with Rococo and I'm back with another tutorial. This time I want to show our Unity users how to utilize virtual production props within their projects. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you see here, we do have our virtual production already set up. Um, if you need to know how to do this, we do already have a tutorial on this. Um, I'll leave a link in the description so that you can take a look at um, setup and then you can come back and then we'll discuss how to um, set up props. Um, but if you're already good to go, what we can do now is um, once your virtual production is up and running, you'll notice that these add objects will highlight and you can now click on each one of these props to add uh, a prop to your scene. So we'll go ahead and uh, click on uh, the stick and add this to our scene. And you'll notice right over here in our scene overview, we'll have, we have uh, live scene objects and we currently have one unpaired input and this is our tracker. So if we move it around, you can see this is the tracker that we have. Um, so in order to pair it, what you need to do is just click and drag this and drop it right on top of stick-1. And now they're currently paired together. So when I move my tracker, I'm currently moving the stick as well. Um, so there's a couple of different things that you can do once you've paired your tracker to um, a prop. You can actually click on the icon right up here and you can change the prop color if you want. Um, you can adjust the, the offset of um, the, the tracker in relation to the prop. And then you can also change um, the prop from here as well if you want to change it to a camera or a box. We'll go ahead, we'll go ahead and, and leave it as a stick. Um, so once that's good to go, um, now you're ready to just enable live streaming so that we can utilize this inside of Unity. So there's two ways you can do this. If you've already set up your settings um, to, to include like your IP address and uh, your forward port, um, all you need to do is just click on this button down here where it says start live stream and then it'll be highlighted in green and that means you're currently streaming. You can also go up to uh, the settings up here and down underneath premium features, um, which is a good thing to note that um, data streaming and using virtual production that's all a part of our premium features. So if you don't have a Rococo Studio Plus subscription or higher, you won't be able to take access um, uh, with utilizing these features. Um, but if you do, you can now go ahead and just hover over data streaming. This is where you can enable and disable it as well. Um, but down below the Ford IP, just make sure that this IP address is the same as the IP address of the computer that you're streaming the data to and then you just want to make sure you pay attention to your Ford VP port because you're going to utilize this inside of Unity. Um, so once that's good to go, um, we can go ahead and now jump over to Unity and get this all set up. All right, so here we are inside of Unity. And as you can see, we have our uh, game object that we're going to apply our tracker data to. And so when we swing our uh, tracker in real life, it's going to swing the uh, ping pong paddle in uh, inside of unity so that we can get some accurate swings so say if we want to record that um, we can um, so in order to set that up you will need the rococo live plugin and so this is a free asset on the asset store to search rococo live and then you can import it directly into your project so we already have it here so if we go inside of the folder go into studio and then we under prefabs uh, one of the essential um, um, game objects that you're going to need inside of your hierarchy is this data receivers. So if you go ahead and drag this inside of your hierarchy and expand it out, you want to go down to virtual production receiver. And this script allows you to input that VP forward port that we um, saw inside of studio. So we've already gone ahead and input that um, port inside of there. So we're good to go. And then the next thing that you need to do is very simple um, for your game object that you're going to stream data to. It, you just want to click on it and go down to add component and then this virtual production prop um, if you don't see it you just type it virtual and then you'll see it pop up virtual production prop click on it and then this script all it requires is for you to add the prop name of um, the name from studio directly into here so if we go back to studio you'll see here it says uh, the prop name is stick-1 so we're gonna go ahead and input that stick dash one and this is case sensitive so make sure that you know the s is capitalized um, but once that's good to go now we can go ahead and um, let's go ahead and full screen this and we can go ahead and now press play and then now when we press play and move our tracker 
you'll see that it's now currently moving in uh, side of Unity. We can go ahead and adjust our camera, just move it a little closer so that we can see. But now you see that the tracker is actually moving our paddle. And if you want to adjust the offset, it'll look so it looks like we, we do. Um, we want to move our tracker inside of uh, Studio a little further down so that um, we get more accurate swings. We can do that right here by clicking this. And we're going to adjust our uh, offset in the Y direction by, um, we're going to change it to 30. And so now, when you go ahead and swing, that's definitely a more accurate swing. And you can go ahead and record this um, as well so that um, if you want to utilize the recorded data later on, you can definitely do that. But that's essentially how you go ahead and add um, the virtual production props directly into Unity and utilize the live stream feature. Um, if you want to work with multiple props, it's super simple. You just add another game object that you're going to utilize and do the exact same process by adding the virtual production or the virtual prop script, add the name of the prop inside of Studio, and um, now you'll have multiple props. So hopefully this was helpful for you guys, and I hope that you guys will now utilize you know, the, the virtual production props inside of Unity. So thanks for watching, guys. Catch you next time.